while you were sleeping, the Fort Bend School Board approved a mask mandate. This is as Pecan Grove Elementary is switching to virtual learning because of COVID-19 risk on campus. ABC 13 reporter Charlie Edsidy has been tracking all of this. She's live outside Pecan Grove Elementary uh, with what parents need to know this morning. Good morning to you, Charlie. Good morning, Rita. Yeah, a lot going on here in Fort Bend ISD, but the biggest headline this morning, the mask mandate that is going to be impacting 77,000 students all across the district. Let's get to the details, what we know right now, which is pretty minimal at this point, because again, it just happened overnight. So the district has not picked a date of when they will begin requiring masks. That's forthcoming. The administration is still working out the details here, particularly the guidance on wearing masks outside, whether or not you're actually going to have to do that and also some interesting situations like during band or choir practice as well. And then they're also hammering out the recommendations for children with special needs. Now their policy, they say, will follow CDC guidelines. And there was a lot of protesters outside of the board meeting that happened yesterday voicing their opposition to this. But ultimately, the board did vote four to three approving mandating masks in the district. For me, my reason for being mask optional is because my children have reported to me on more than one occasion that they cannot breathe in these masks. I know that to be true because I can't breathe in these masks. Yep. All right, and let's talk now about what's going on here at Pecan Grove Elementary School. What you're looking at right now is Fort Bend ISD's COVID-19 tracker. You can see there on your screen, there are 31 students testing positive for COVID-19, along with two teachers here that go to this campus. Now, students here are going to be learning virtually through the end of the week. They made that announcement uh, yesterday, and the plan right now is that they will switch back to in-person learning, hopefully by Monday, but it all depends on what happens with the COVID-19 situation happening on this campus. And so this is something that a lot of parents were worried would happen. And so hopefully they can get back on track and back in person uh, by Monday. I'm going to toss it back to you. Charlie Edsidy, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thank